Jeffrey Bauman Jr. was attending the Boston Marathon as a spectator to watch his girlfriend run when one of the two explosions went off, tearing through both of his legs. Essentially bleeding to death on the sidewalk, Bauman Jr. was lucky to be found by Carlos Arredondo, a peace activist and Red Cross volunteer who knows all too much about personal tragedy. Arredondo was able to apply a makeshift tourniquet, thanks to the help of another man as well, to Bauman Jr.'s leg to temporarily staunch the bleeding. Bauman Jr. was taken to Boston Medical Center, where he had both legs amputated due to considerable bone and artery damage. His father, Jeff Bauman Sr., only learned of his son's injuries through the now famous image of his ghostly visage being rushed to an ambulance in a wheelchair with Arredondo alongside him. Bauman Jr. is currently recovering in the hospital. Arredondo was watching the marathon to cheer on a group of 15 active duty soldiers from the Massachusetts National Guard who were lugging around 40-pound rucksacks for the entire 26.2-mile marathon in honor of killed soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan. One of the men was marching for his son, Lance Corporal Alexander Arredondo, who was killed in 2004 in Najaf, Iraq, at only 20 years old. Unbelievably, Arredondo's other son, Brian, committed suicide in 2011 after being unable to deal with his brother's death. After those unimaginable tragedies, Arredondo was thrown into another horrific event, which he responded to by running into the smoke and to the injured people's aid. Originally from Costa Rica, Arredondo had been a firefighter and helped to rescue gored bullfighters in the ring in his native country. I can only imagine what the reunion will be like between Balman Jr. and Arredondo. Watch the YouTube videos, interviews on YouTube uh, in the description below. They are interviews of Arredondo within hours or, or even less after the bombings. He still has his blood-soaked shirt on. It's pretty amazing stuff.